what God speaks to some illiterate merchant warlord in Arabia, and he's able to write this down perfectly, and it contains the answers to all human. Don't, don't, don't waste my time. It's bullshit. But, but <laughs> And I'll tell you something, if I was told to sacrifice them to prove my devotion to God, if I was told to do what all monotheists are told to do, and admire the man who said, yes, I'll gut my kid to show my love of God, I'd say, no, fuck you. Tell a child, you're, you go to this church, which means you'll go to heaven, but your little playmates don't go to that church, and therefore will go to hell seems to me to be an unpleasant thing to be saying. But yes, I that mean, is. Maybe I'm in a minority then. That could be an unpleasant thing, but how do you develop? Actually, an evil thing let's, to be saying. Let's that's call it evil, only, Christopher. That's something that only a religious person would dream of saying. Let's call it evil. Where does evil come from? Religion. <laughs> I'm not, that's not facetious. You, that's not facetious. Your audience, which will clap apparently anything, is frivolous. Um, no, uh, so I'm just. Yeah. Seven. Don't imagine that you can escape judgment if you rob people with a false prospectus rather than with a knife. Number eight. Turn off that fucking cell phone. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know what I think? This is now the joke that stupid people laugh at. It's a joke that any dumb person can laugh at because they Come think on. they think they're, they're smarter. They they could prove they're smarter than the president, like the people who make booing and mooing noises in your audience. But my own opinion is enough for me and I claim the right to have it defended against any consensus, any majority.